Welcome back to Pico Strap, a super lightweight, performance-oriented starter theme implementing Bootstrap and SaaS in WordPress. If you want to be able to customize the theme in depth and add your own SCSS and JavaScript code, you should use a child theme, as always the case in WordPress. You can download the blank child theme from PicoStrap's website. In this video, we'll illustrate the folder structure to help you understand how the SCSS compiler works and how to add your own code. In this walkthrough, we're going to concentrate on the child theme, but please mind that both the parent theme and the child theme have in the root a folder named SAS. These SAS folders contain all the SCSS files that are responsible for the theme styling, including Bootstrap. The compiling process starts with the main.scss file. In simpler words, this means that this file is the king that reigns the styles. Let's peek inside it to get an overview of what happens. The main.scss file imports several partial scss files. Please note that when the referenced files are not found into the child themes sas folder, they are fetched from the parent themes sas folder. First of all, the theme variables.scss file is where you can set your custom values for the bootstrap variables. As you've seen in the former video, you can control many bootstrap variables with the WordPress customizer as well, but if you want even more control, you can set them in here as well, editing this file. By default, in our theme variables.scss file, we enable support for additional bootstrap spacings classes, negative margins, and vertical height classes. Next, in this row, as you would expect, we load bootstrap from the bootstrap file folder. Please mind that you can edit this file as well to customize your own bootstrap, removing components that you don't need, for example. The WP Basic Styles, that SCSS file, located in the parent themes SAS directory, helps with styling standard WordPress classes. For example, here are that classes that help images aligned in the WordPress content editor to correctly align. Next, we have the picostrap.scss file, which defines some utilities such as the responsive font size, the .rfs classes. We have a specific video covering those. Next, the WooCommerce.scss file that contains some basic visual rules to help WooCommerce elements to correctly display using Bootstrap. Next, this commented row includes a debug file that displays a grid overlay that highlights your Bootstrap grids. It's just a small tool to review your layouts and their complexity at a glance. Last but not least, there is the custom.scss file where you should put your own CSS or SCSS code. Moreover, please consider that in case you want to split your custom work into multiple files to better organize your SCSS code base, you can freely add lines to the main.scss file to import more custom partial files. The SCSS files are compiled to a single, minified CSS file called bundle.css, which is written in the folder called CSS-output. Changes to any of the SCSS files inside the SAS folder are automatically detected. Every time you visit the site, if logged in as administrator, PicoStrap checks if there are file modifications in the SAS folder, and if any, it will rebuild the theme's CSS file and reload it to display the changes. As you can see, if we make an edit to the custom.scss file, PicoStrap recompiles the SCSS, and we can see the changes in the front end.
If you mean to add your own custom JavaScript to the to the child theme, just open the functions.php file and uncomment the row below the comment. This will globally load a custom.js file from the slash JS folder on all pages of the site. Further below, there's also an example showing how you might load custom JavaScript files only on a specific page. That's it. Now you know how to add CSS, SCSS, or JavaScript code to your PicoStrap child theme. You are ready to build a website that rocks. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you'd click the like button. By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.